No matter what I do, I'm always going to be different. And there's joy in that. Humans are fundamentally free-range creatures. We didn't evolve inside of four square walls and cubicles and in front of computers. In many ways, a lot of my activities outside are rooted in moving through a landscape to see where I fit into it. Southwest Colorado literally lets you step back through time, looking at the layers of history in the rock and canyons and rivers that surround us. I can fold myself into these places and I don't just belong, I am a part of the landscape. If I lie down on the rock, you might not even see me. As a child, you know, my life was really about, I think like trying to play as much as possible. So being out in the yard, tootling around with plants, reading books. Juniper is one half of the acronym PJ, which is pinion juniper. Um, pinion make pine nuts, juniper make juniper berries. Food. Let's continue. You know, we're not in a city. I don't have a climbing gym to go to. I don't have Zumba classes to attend. I literally just have whatever I can motivate myself towards. <laughs> One of the most transformative things for me has been to embrace the idea of just being outside in different ways. Like it doesn't always have to be high adrenaline, super extreme. Sometimes it's just putting trees in the ground or mulching a compost pile, and that still counts. I'm doing a lot of things that really are rooted in my own self-reliance, and our society tells you that just because it's like faster or more efficient, or maybe even cheaper, that like that's what you should do. And I very broadly reject that idea. I think that anything that's worth that shit is gonna be hard. <laughs> I love running for its purity. There's not too much you need fundamentally other than a pair of shoes. And las ganas de sobrevivir. <laughs> like the will to survive. This idea of emotional and mental resilience. In many ways, like that is what running gives me. That challenge. Sometimes it's pain, sometimes it's a shitty attitude, <laughs> but it always makes me just feel so good at the end of the day. Another one. And then my favorite problem is right over here. I used to very much dislike bouldering, <laughs> but uh, the pandemic taught me that I should suck it up and just go do things because that's what was available to me in my backyard. Gritty sandstone or chassis rock, they're all just good ways to, to move through the world. And I fundamentally really just like being able to kind of use my body to like, as I was saying earlier, fold myself into places and feel secure, feel held, feel like I belong. I think the future it's something that all of us can build together by choosing to engage with everyday action in a mindful way. I think that there's something really beautiful about embracing the piece that says, I cultivated something, I created something, and I can feed this world. How amazing would it be if I just did that for my life and my community? So, here I am on a farmstead, planting trees, raising ducks, sticking my hands in the dirt. And just because media and the outdoor industry haven't traditionally shown people that look like me or you in these spaces, doesn't mean that we don't belong.
we all belong outside. And so while I can't tell you exactly what the future holds, I hope for me that it has many more jars of homemade applesauce, a few more chickens in the freezer, lots of good eggs every summer, a few friends coming over for dinner once a week, some great adventures out in the world. Because if we have only this one life, I want it to feel like it matters. <laughs>